Tire 4241 Heavy, uh, check those down and expect midfield turn off, check the double. Giant 1440, 4241, we might, uh, we'll get back to you here momentarily, we're not on your approach. Giant 4241 Heavy, McConnell is uh, 9 miles south east. Uh, yes sir, we just landed at the other airport. What's up, guys, and welcome back to ATC Point of View. My name is Lex, and I'm a former military air traffic controller in the Marine Corps. If you're a subscriber, thanks for joining me once again. I appreciate your support. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing and hit the like button while you're at it. In this video, I'm going to react to the Dreamlifter landing at the wrong airport. So originally, they were supposed to land at McConnell Air Force Base. However, they fell short. And if you're unaware what the Dreamlifter is, it's basically a modified 747. And it was designed to carry components of the 787 Dreamliner, hence the name, the Dreamlifter. So from my understanding, they only made four of them, but uh, let's get to the video and see how this uh, happened. Good evening, Montana Tower Giant uh, 4241 uh, heavies on the bit, or the GPS, RNAV GPS approach 19 left. Giant 4241 heavy, Montana Tower, check those down on the 19 left, wind 140 at four, third land. Clear land, uh, runway 19 left, wheels down, Giant uh, 4241 heavy. Giant 4241 heavy, check those down. Giant 4241, go ahead. Giant 4241 heavy, uh, check those down and expect midfield turn off, check the double. Giant 1440, 4241, we might, uh, we'll get back to you here momentarily, we're not on your approach. Giant 4241 Heavy, McConnell is at 9 miles south east. Uh, yes sir, we just landed at the other airport. And McConnell, uh, Giant uh, 4241. Giant 4241 Heavy, McConnell, tower? Uh, apparently uh, we've uh, landed at BEC. Giant 4241 Heavy, verify you are on the ground at Beach Airport? We think so. Giant 4241 Heavy McConnell, Supervisor, verify you are full stop landed and stopped at uh, BEC Airport. Not permanent. Giant 4241 Heavy uh, McConnell Tower, are you able to make an approach direction of departure off that airport and back in the air for McConnell? And we're working on those details now, sir. Roger. And McConnell uh, Tower, Giant 4241. Giant 4241 Heavy McConnell Tower. Yes, sir. Is, you have a freak, is there a power frequency here for a speech? Giant 4241 Heavy, uh, speech tower is actually closed at this, this time uh, on the end. Okay, is there a unicom frequency? Giant 4241 Heavy, stand down. All right, so Giant 4241 is the Dreamlifter aircraft. The approach controller set him up on final for runway 19 left. He's doing the RNAV GPS approach. Now he's talking to the tower and the tower has cleared him. And if you guys aren't aware, uh, the tower controller kept, keeps calling him heavy because he's required to do so by the uh, FAA. So if there's a heavy aircraft, use their call sign and then you say heavy at the end every time. So he's set up on final and the controller cleared him to land. And then a few moments later, he tells the controller that he's on the ground. And the controller is confused because he's at the airport, but the aircraft is not there. He's still showing his target somewhere nine miles north of McConnell Air Force Base because his track on the radar is still populated. So the controller thinks the aircraft is still inbound. So let's take a look at the map and uh, see possibly where uh, he might be. All right, so as you see here, McConnell Air Force Base is right over here. They got parallel runways, uh, runway 19 left, runway 19 right. And uh, aircraft thinks he landed over here, Beach Factory Airport. They only have one runway. And their runway is about 8,000 feet long. Over here at McConnell Air Force Base, about 12,000 feet long. So the problem here is, um, as you can see, you have two different airports. Well, three different airports. You see one over here, one over here, and one over here. Three different airports on that final for McConnell Air Force Base. So when approach control sets up an aircraft on the uh, final, so there's an extended center line. So if you take runway 19 left and you extend it, 
there's an extended center line that keeps going. So the problem here is the fact that all these runways are right here. So it could be kind of easy for a pilot to uh, accidentally mistake one of these airports as the airport that he's supposed to be going to. Um, and you see they're, they're all heading in the same direction. So typically airports in the uh, same geo area uh, have uh, similar headings because of the wind. So before they build an airport, they take like a wind estimate for like a year or so. I'm not too familiar with how long they do it, but to see which direction the wind is because aircraft, they like landing towards the wind. So the wind's blowing in their face, which helps them uh, and have a stable approach. You know, when the wind's behind them, it's not a stable approach. Or when the wind's coming from across, it's not stable as well. So that's usually why most airports in the same location have similar headings. It might be 10, 20 degrees off, but for the most part, they have the same heading. Giant 4241 heavy from the uh, target we saw on the radar scope. Uh, you were over top, but the target was over top of Jabara Airport, which is approximately eight miles north of McConnell Airport. Unicom frequency is 122.7. Say again, 122.7. All right, uh, this gentleman uh, is giving us a frequency. We're going to try it on 1227 as well. Hey, McConnell Tower, uh, Giant 4241. Giant 4241, heading in contact. Yes, sir. We're uh, in contact with the company right now. We're uh, at, uh, getting uh, analyzed for performance status. Giant 4241, heavy, roger. Giant 4241, heavy, and from you, you know which airport you're at. Well, we think we have a pretty good pulse. Uh, how many, let me ask you this, how many airports two directly to the south of one line, uh, your one nine, are there? Giant 4241 Heavy, uh, you're currently north of McConnell, and there's three along the Connell Post. I'm sorry, I'm at north. I'm sorry, I'm looking at something else. Uh, we are, at, we're showing about six miles north of you. And uh, 4241 Heavy Affirmative. Uh, right now we still trying to figure it out. Okay, thanks. Uh, we just had a twin engine aircraft, a uh, turboprop aircraft, go over the top of it. Giant 4241 Heavy, Roger, you, uh, appear that, appears that you're at the bar. Uh, say again. Giant 4241 Heavy, uh, we saw the plane on the radar, and it appears that you are at Jabara Airport. Say the name of it again. Jabara. Jabara. Giant 4241 Heavy, that's J-A-B-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. Okay, alright, uh, we'll copy that. So back to the map. So the air traffic controller is telling the aircraft he was last observed on the uh, radar display over here over at Jabara Airport. Uh, he spelled it wrong, but uh, this is it right here, Jabara Airport. So the aircraft was set up on final for runway uh, 19 left at McConnell Air Force Base, but somehow he thought this was the airport and that's where he landed at. Um, I gotta say, this is partly the air traffic controller's fault because uh, when you observe an aircraft on radar and they start descending too low, uh, you gotta give them a low altitude alert because they're being too low for the approach. And uh, he could have caught that if I guess he was paying attention. But I don't know what his workload is, if he had other things going on. But typically a tower controller, that's something you would catch. Uh, so originally, the aircraft thought he landed over here. But he landed way sooner than that at Jabara Airport. And another thing too, you see the pilot asking for Unicom frequency. So Unicom stands for Universal Communications. It's the frequency that pilots at uncontrolled airports or airports that have operations when the uh, tower closes, like in this case, it's a frequency where everybody will be on and they communicate with each other and uh, make sure that they don't hit each other and they'll report their uh, position, their heading and uh, things that they're doing around the airport. So everybody that's somewhere around this airport will be on the same Unicom frequency and pass along their uh, information. That way they could remain safe and not hit each other. And uh, McConnell Tower, uh, Giant 4241. Giant 4241, heading contact. Yes, sir. It looks like we do confirm that it is Jabara. And Giant 4241, heading the same thing. Uh, we're talking to the company now. We're trying to uh, assess our uh, performance situation as far as uh, 
being able to leave this airport and come to you. Diamond 4241 Heavy, Roger, just keep us advised, we have a tanker, one small final. Okay, yeah, we will not take off without clearance through you as well. Diamond 4241 Heavy, Roger. Alright, so this was the end of the clip. So they confirmed that he is indeed at Jabbar Airport, which is 8 miles north-northeast of McConnell Air Force Base. And he just landed at the wrong airport. If you're a pilot, go ahead and comment why a mistake like that could happen. Because if he's on an RNAV approach, I assume that you got to set it up on your uh, GPS to make sure that uh, you're able to see the final approach course and uh, fly the approach. So if you're a pilot, go ahead and explain. Uh, I, can't, I can't explain it from a pilot's point of view. But again, like I said, you know, the air traffic controller could have paid more attention and uh, see uh, something like this and prevented it from happening. But we don't know what else he was doing, so it's it's hard to say. But well, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe button, and comment down below and make suggestions on what you want me to do next. And as always, peace.